Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back, we are back with a good one. Uh, Ethelbeck Makhmadov and Guido Vianello in a really interesting, intriguing uh, heavyweight fight, a fight that I think we can make some money on. Uh, before we get to that, let's uh, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes to you for every single major fight, so you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing, the bookies. The odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to, how to consistently make, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The Patreon gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the updated uh, props. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets you to request a fight. It gets you all the best perks in the world. It gets you the absolute best gam boxing gambling advice that exists. For just five dollars a month, also subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds are going to go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into today's show. Let's get into it. Makhmadov, six five, two sixty, a big boy, big, strong mule of a man, uh, aggressive, throws a lot for a guy his size. A uh, front foot guy throws hard shots. He commits to his shots. He throws hard. I think he overcommits. Uh, good power, especially in the right hand. The right hand is his best shot, no question about it. Slow plotting guy, slow, flat footed. He plots forward, comes forward. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of footwork. There's not a lot of bounce in the step, anything like that. But he throws nice straight punches. And, and that's what he is. He's, he's a big, strong mule of a man who throws really nice straight punches. He does get a little wild and he lunges in. He's not a difficult guy to hit. He's there to be hit. He doesn't have a lot of movement. His defense isn't great. Uh, he's a big, slow, strong, aggressive heavyweight with, with a really good right hand. Uh, he can't fight going backwards. There's not a lot of lateral movement. His head is on a line. He's easy to hit. He's very, very stationary. Kind of put that in your head. Guido Vianello, 6'4", 240. He's the better athlete in the ring. He's the better boxer in the ring. A little bit more fluid, a little bit better athlete. Nice jab. He's the better jabber. If, if, if he can make this a battle of the jabs, he wins this fight going away. Uh, judge's distance is better, way better. He sits behind his jab, and he sets things up better. He's just a, a more polished, fine-tuned fighter. He's more composed. He's got decent speed for a heavyweight. Uh, sloppy with the jab. He's very easy to counter to. He keeps the jab pumping, though. If you can time it, which I don't know that Makhmadov can If you can time his jab, you, you can you can have some success with him. Uh, he can circle. He can he can use the ring a bit. He can, he's the better mover in the ring. Pretty good combination puncher. He fires off better combos. He can throw in threes and fours. He can put his punches together. He's got a good, durable chin. It's going to be tested in this fight for sure. His chin stood up to F.A. Dogba in that in that slug fest. He's got a good chin. He's got decent speed. He's got a good gas tank. He's got a good engine. He he can keep going and and he can he can hang in he can hang in there. He can go the distance. He's a more complete fighter. He's the more skilled, more polished fighter in the ring. No question about it. He can punch with you. He can do a lot of things you don't necessarily expect from a heavyweight that size. Now, Makhmadov is bigger and stronger and the bigger hitter. Uh, and Guido comes straight in, head out of line two. He gets hit too much. And that's what makes this fight so intriguing. Guido's the better fighter. He's the better boxer. He's the more skilled, more polished fighter. Makhmadov's the bigger hitter with a great right hand. And both guys get hit a lot. So I don't expect this fight to go the distance. I think someone's getting knocked out when you have that formula. Uh, Magwadov can hit and he doesn't go backwards. So something's going to give in this fight. Let's take a look at the odds real quick. I got the wrong fight up. So there's a couple of bets that I like. All right. Let's take a look at these two bets. 
Guido Villanelle, Guido Villanelle on a money line. I like the bet. Uh, plus 235. Typically, I say if it's plus 300 or better, and in a 50-50 fight, take it. But I'm not 50-50 on this fight. I'm leaning towards Guido, Villanelle, uh, Guido Villanello, 55-60%. I like him to win the fight. I, I no longer think this is a 50-50 fight. I, I'm favoring Guido and his, and his style. The other prop that I like is, does the fight go the distance? No. Also put a one-times bet on that. This does two things. I think there are three ways this fight can end. Guido Vianello by stoppage. Guido, Guido Vianello on points. And uh, Mahmoudov by stoppage. So those are the three realistic options I think that can happen. I think the first two, I think uh, the, the, the two bookends, either fight or by stoppage, are much more possible, much more likely. So does the fight go the distance at minus 275? I like that. I, I think it does not go the distance. Uh, if it does, Guido Vianello is going to win a decision. So we hit on that. And we still make money on the bet. We still make $135 on the bet. If Guido Valenil wins by stoppage, we make, make $270, $271. So on a $200 bet. So we, we, we still we make money on this no matter what, right? Like if Guido Vianello wins, which is, is is the major bet, we make money. If he gets stopped, we leverage and we, we hedge our loss, right? We, we, we walk away with $36 and lose $100, we lose $64. So there's three ways we could lose $64, we can make $300 and $270, or you know what I'm saying? The odds are with us that we're going to win this fight. Because I said there are three possible outcomes in this fight. Makhmadov by stoppage, we lose uh, the Vianello bet, but we hit on the fight does not go the distance. If Vio wins by decision, we miss on that bet, but we win the bigger bet. If Vio stops him, we hit on both. So the only way we lose money on this bet is if Makhmadov wins by decision, which I don't think is going to happen. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. I remember to join the Patreon link. It's in the description. It is August 15th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.